got some things to discuss today. We gotta talk about this. If you do these things, stop it. I think she loves me, cause I got the check on me. Won't spend a damn flex on me. Put a curse and hex on me. Scratch out my name, put the X on me. You should come check on me. Hey guys! Welcome to my channel. If you're new, my name is Destiny. And if you've seen my face before, and you haven't subscribed yet, then what are you doing? Let's see how many people get triggered by this video. I got some things to discuss today. We gotta talk about this. So basically, I'm gonna be going through a list of my pet peeves with you guys. If you do these things, stop it, please. Thank you. With that being said, let's get right into the video. I highly dislike when people message me first, trying to start a conversation, I respond, and then I'm the one who gets left on the end. What sense does that make? What was the point of you hitting me up? You could have just gone about your day, could have gone about my day, but no, now I'm triggered because I thought you wanted to have a conversation, but clearly you didn't. I was deceived. Next, when people don't take no for an answer, this literally makes my blood boil. If you ask me something, like if you ask me if I want to do something or if I want to go somewhere and I tell you no and then you ask me again and I still tell you no and then you ask me again, what are you doing? What are you trying to accomplish? You think I'm going to give in? You think I'm going to say yes? No, it's not going to happen. You're wasting your breath and you're wasting my breath. And guys do this a lot. Next, when people dismiss other people's beliefs because they don't agree or it doesn't match their beliefs. Boy, girl, do you not understand? That everybody is different we're all diverse we all have our own way of thinking we all have our own beliefs morals whatever just because you don't agree with someone else doesn't mean that you have to shit on their beliefs or try to convince them that their beliefs are wrong or try to convince them to change their beliefs next when people are always negative for example you walk into a class you're all happy and shit you're like yeah you know what i'm gonna pass this test today and then your friend just goes mm, nobody's passed that test so you probably won't pass the test either it's like damn why you have to be a debbie downer you just completely killed my confidence like if you're not feeling good if you're not in a good mood i understand that you might not want to be around a happy ass person at the time but you don't have to try to make that person sad or upset too or try to bring down their mood because you're not on that same level next when people ask for your advice then they don't take the advice and then when shit hits the fan they come back all shook like i should have took your advice i don't know why but that triggers me and this happens to me a lot if i give you advice you do the complete opposite and then you come back to me like shit like i don't know what to do i'm gonna just look at you like well, I don't know what you want me to do because you clearly don't listen to me. So, next, when people only hit you up to be nosy. When people don't talk to you for like weeks or months and they only hit you up to see what's going on with your life, to see what you're doing, to, you know, catch up on tea. It's like, boy, girl, person, how about hi? How are you? I missed you. I haven't talked to you in a while. We should catch up. Don't hit me up like, hey. So how's you and so and so? Why? Why? Hello. Hi. Person. Haven't seen you in a while. Next. When people beat around the bush. Hold on. <clears throat> Let me tell you something. It's between me and you. If you got something to say, just say it. We're adults. Okay? adults there's no need to use subliminals there's no need to try to throw shade if you got something to say say it i'm a big girl i can handle it thanks that's all i had to say next when people spit everywhere you ever just be walking and you walk past a guy or girls some females be doing this too but it's mainly in guys and all of a sudden he just spits and it lands like right in front of you i could have stepped in your germs i know i'm wearing shoes and all but still the boys can be spitting machines bro they just pew 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 
ever since I was little and a guy would do it, I would literally cringe. I didn't have to see that. I didn't want to see that. I don't know why you have to do me like that. And they don't even care. They just do it like it's nothing. I just hate to see people spinning, period. What if it's a windy ass day or some shit and like the spit lands on me? <sighs> I just made myself cringe. Okay, moving on. Next, when regular, regular, schmegular ass people have public figure in their Instagram bio. For what? You have a thousand followers. You're not active. You don't influence nobody. When I think of public figure, I think of Beyonce, Kim Kardashian, Shane Dawson, Damo, Barack Obama, Michelle Obama. Angela Rye. When I see public figure, I think about people who are influencers, who would, who has like thousands and thousands and thousands of followers. I think of people who make some type of difference in people's lives. If you don't do shit, why do you have public figure in your bio? Next, when grown ass people type like 12 year olds. No, not even 12 year olds because there are 12 year olds who actually know how to type correctly. Honey, why are you texting me like this? Or like this? You're a grown ass person. Don't hit me up like that. Use your autocorrect. We all have smartphones, they all come with autocorrect, so use it. Next, I hate when you first start talking to a guy one moment he'll be asking you what your favorite color is all of a sudden you get a snap out of nowhere and it's a dick that is like the fastest way to get blocked next this one triggers the hell out of me if i have my headphones in and you see me with my headphones in don't talk to me i mean if you start talking to me i'm gonna take out my headphones so i can hear you because you know that's the polite thing to do however in my head i'm most likely going to be talking shit because if my headphones are in both of them especially if i have my music blasting and you can hear my music blasting that means i don't want to have a conversation right now i'd be in my zones where i just want to listen to my music and you know go on about my day i don't want to have a conversation right now next Another thing I can't stand is when people believe everything they read off of the internet or people who believe everything that they hear. There are trolls all over the internet trying to start shit, trying to scare people. Do you guys remember that whole thing where this guy pretended to be Travis Scott and this picture of him went viral? It was basically like this Travis Scott impersonator who dressed up as Travis Scott and took a picture on the balcony with another female and it went viral. So everybody thought Travis Scott was like cheating on Kylie. And turns out it was just a social experiment just to prove how gullible the internet could be. Just because you see something doesn't mean it's factual. Okay, honey? Next, my last and final pet peeve is when people are talking and they spit on you and then they act like it didn't happen. They know that they spit on you they know it was an accident and you know it was an accident but they don't apologize they just keep talking like it didn't happen that is like so rude to me i'm already disgusted that you spit on my face on an accident the least you can do is apologize and acknowledge that it happened like i know you're human i'm human we're all human accidents happen i'm not gonna judge you but don't act like it didn't happen okay guys so that's all i have for this video if you enjoyed this video found it a little bit entertaining if you agree with some of my pet peeves don't forget to like comment and subscribe to my channel i post every week three times a week don't forget it if you do any of these things i discuss god bless your soul bye